What's up guys? Welcome to Sauce Pot. Today we got a very special episode for you. We're going to start this series off and it's going to be called Good to Great. Today we're going to be tackling Chef Boyardee's beef raviolis. I love them. You love them. We all seem to love them. Can I make them great? Because they're already good. I'm not using any crazy ingredients. Japanese Wagyu beef. It'll be stuff that you guys can make at home along with me. Just taking something that's a nostalgic bomb and actually bringing it up to a good taste. I can't wait to get into it. We're going to get into the sauce right about now. So we're getting along with the sauce. I'm going to start with about a tablespoon of olive oil. Uh, you can kind of get whatever kind you want. I kind of, I got the expensive stuff. I'm a little bit bougie. I'm not using any crazy ingredients. Uh, and then I got one small onion finely diced and I'm gonna get this into a medium sized and a medium heat pan and I'm just gonna kind of cook these down in this olive oil you'll see this traditionally in a bunch of other Italian cooking like they did start with onions I like onions there's an aroma to them I'm kind of like Shrek I pilk I jelk I edge ah, ah. I'll go ahead and add just pretty much a three to one ratio to water and tomato paste. If you guys want, totally fine to use the stuff in a jar. Just try to elevate your cooking. You can be better than a lot of people on this planet. Has anybody fucked hot sauce before? Should I be the first? Nah, I'm just joking. All right. So we're just going to get this going because I'm going to elevate it a little bit. I don't, I don't want just raviolis drowning in sauce. Um, so with that, I am going to add a little bit of water to loosen it up in the beginning. Uh, I just seasoned it normally however you'd season it. If you guys want to use no seasoning at all, you can do that too. So we're making a beef filling pretty, uh, pretty normal. Nothing too crazy. Uh, I just got 93.7 beef. You don't want all the fat in it. You don't want it to be super crazy because it's going to boil and it's going to cook and you don't want that fat to leak out and go to burst your raviolis when they're boiling. So two pieces or two hamburger buns. It's the only thing I had. I forgot to grab the other stuff. In here, we're gonna drop one egg, shell and all. Is that even cool? I talk about shells and shit every episode. All right, and then I just got garlic salt, garlic, salt, black pepper, onion powder, and parsley in here. And I'm just gonna take nice, big all chunks and when you're thinking about putting this meat in here you don't want to put the whole log because then it's just gonna but when you're ripping it up you kind of want to think that this is your worst enemy's heart and you're just grabbing it and stuffing it somewhere else <coughs> this is a good time too to to really just think about your life and everything Now that that's done, now that that's done, we'll just move it over to another bowl. Probably the same bowl that you already had the beef in. It's already raw, but it's almost gonna be like a meatball consistency because we're essentially making meatballs. People use pork or they just do cheese fillings, but I like beef. I like having that just girth in my mouth so we're on to the dough and i made this before it's literally two cups of flour three eggs a pinch of salt and a tablespoon of olive oil you're gonna mix it together there's tons of recipes you can buy fresh dough at the stores now you don't have to do anything you can even just buy raviolis and just make a really good sauce and you got it but i'm gonna go above and beyond because i'm special all right, so I'm gonna take this dough. I'm gonna divide it into fours. 
Kind of want to keep them even. And we're just going to move these to the side. And we're going to take this one, roll it into a ball, and then get it into a disc. I'm going to take some flour. You can use salmonella. Semonella. Semolina flour, if you want. You don't have to do anything special. I'm just going to use all purpose flour for this. Pat it out kind of like you're about to make a pizza. And then we're going to start rolling. You can see the true fear in my face. I hit that and I was like, fuck, fuck, we're done. We're just going to take it from the middle going forward and bring her back and get this shaped out. It's crazy because I'm not used to having a rolling pin. I usually just use whatever I can. Sometimes it's just like a fucking cock and I'm just trying to roll it out and it's not working. But this seems to be pretty nice. So now that I got it to about six inches, I'm going to take one third of it, fold it in, take another third of it and fold it in and then turn it and then move it out. And you can also use a, a pasta machine too to roll this out. I'm doing it by hand because sometimes I feel like I have an inferior complex and I think that I have to do everything by hand and just make sure that everything is better than everybody. And I mean, let's be honest, some of the stuff I'd make is mediocre at best. Psych. This rolling pin fucking sucks. I wish I had my dick. Um, your oh, gum should be oh, by the end of where's the my dick at? If your flour gets picked up and you kind of need to add a little bit more, feel free to add some more. If it starts to stick, then you can definitely add some more again. And we're just going to try to get this to about 14 feet. Actually, we'll probably just be good for right here. And we'll go ahead. Try to line her out like a barber. Just and then we'll take two of those to make it a little bit easier to roll out and get a good length on it. We'll take two of those halves, so one half of the dough that you made. We'll get that down. Got it rolled out about, I don't know, Johnny Sin's length. And we're going to go ahead and just take a good old half teaspoon of our, feel of, of our feelings. Uh, uh, of our filling. And we're going to go ahead and put her about half a finger length mine are giant and thick and unlovable um, that's about maybe an inch and a half so we're gonna do an inch and a half apart all the way through and then we're gonna fold and then cut you don't really want to cut and then try to make everything mix and match you're gonna want to do that at the end of it so we'll go ahead and get this moving along here I got some egg wash, so just a little bit of egg whites and a little bit of water, and we're going to use that to be our glue, be our binder. And I'm just going to go in between them, on the edges, get them nice and lubed up. I want to oil you up. What the, what the fuck does that mean? So that we can go ahead and print these guys together. Get those guys like that. Hit them with the fold. 
and then we'll go ahead and fold these. You really want to try and get as much air out as you can. Uh, the more air in here, the more it's just going to kind of like explode when you guys fry them up. Fry them? This ain't no Illinois shit. This is, this is Italian. But you're going to want to make sure when you boil these, they don't explode and rupture on you. You might lose a couple when you first make them. I'm probably going to lose a couple when uh, I get going to it. But you really want to try and get the air out. Really, really try to get that air out. People use like a pasta extruder or an extruder, a pasta wheel. Uh, you can use a knife. You're not going to have those like fancy ledge edges or anything like that. But you don't really need to have any fancy edges. The only edging you need to do is when you're at your house by yourself, not when somebody's watching. Unless you're getting paid for that, that's cool too, I guess. So we'll go ahead and cut these guys like that. And now this would be a good time where you guys can like pick it up, really try to get any air out that you can. You can pinch them together to seal them a little bit more. Let's see, this one had some air in it. Kind of use that to, to form it as much as you can. And you have a ravioli. So I boiled them off. 13-ish minutes, and then I just finished them in the sauce. I didn't really want to bore you guys with that, but we'll go ahead and plate these bad boys up. And I really like this sauce because, again, it's not drowning it. It's just sticking to it. It's making it more elevated than just having, like, stuff drowning. I didn't have any losses in my army. None of them died. All of them stayed together. We're going to go ahead and finish them off with some Parmesan cheese. Get that nice parm all on there. Get it all over. And I'm a menace. If I ever go to like Olive Garden, they're like, how much cheese do you want? I don't tell them to stop. Work your arms out. Get a work. Fuck you and get a workout. I'm paying for this. You need to. Okay. I'd probably stop right there. And then I like ricotta cheese. I'm just going to get a nice Corel. Maybe two. On there and people usually put bail uh, basil not bail bail me out bail usually they put basil I'm not a type of person that wants basil but that's what we're rocking with some nice ravioli I think already looking at it it's better than any canned ravioli that you'll ever have so we'll get into it we'll break some of this off Mm. Mm. That seasoning I put on that beef, the egg, everything, the parsley comes through. Man. I think I did it. I think I made this good to great. If you guys like this video, go ahead and hit a like, subscribe comment do whatever you guys want to do if you want to berate me in the comments for not doing this right and you're like oh there's a mafia boss how, you, how, how dare you make whatever the case may be i'll fist fight you in the streets just joking i love you guys so much i'll see you in the next episode of sauce pot peace out